What's going on guys? It's Jaren from WearTesters.com and today we are going to be doing a performance review of the Adidas Rose 6. Is it better than the 5? How's the cushion? What about the traction? What's the support like? All those questions are going to be answered in this video. So let's get right to it. The Rose line has always featured a durable traction setup that was a favorite amongst outdoor hoopers. However, things changed last year with the Rose 5, and the same could be said with the Rose 6. The translucent rubber setup Adidas decided to go with works great on clean to moderately clean floors. However, due to the tight and shallow nature of the traction pattern, any dust on the floor will get caught in between the grooves, so get prepared to wipe a lot. As I mentioned earlier, the rubber compound on the Rose 6 isn't as durable as previous models in the Rose line, especially this outer ridge in the heel area. So while they do perform great outdoors, it'll be short lived. Last year, the Rose 5 was the first Encore model to feature a full length boost foam cushion setup. And while not a bad cushion setup by any means, it was a little bit of a disappointment when compared to other Adidas models that used a similar cushion system. However, all that changes this year with the Rose 6 because this time, Adidas got it right. Using a stable frame carrier that stabilizes boost foams in all the areas you need it, Adidas implements some unlocked portions in the forefoot to allow the boost foam to expand to provide that perfect balance between plushness and responsiveness. Simply put, the cushion setup is damn near perfect. Really, it'll make you feel younger, faster, quicker, and like you just had the best night's sleep in your very own bed. Based on the cushion setup alone, it's gonna be very hard to get your feet out of the row six, both on and off the court. The Nike KD8, Flyweave. The Kobe 10, Textile Mesh. Reebok Question, Leather. Air Jordan 29, Performance Woven Upper. Do you guys see the common theme? Every one of the models that I just mentioned could have a material attached to it. Sure, every now and then a company might come out with a special colorway and switch up the materials to give us a fresh breath of air. But that's only on special occasion. Adidas has been on this recent trend of giving us all the materials that they could find and putting them on their signature models. It seems like every colorway of the rows five and six has a different material. And with each new material comes a different Encore experience. As you can see, the colorway I purchased was the white home version that uses a synthetic mesh and a diamond web-like pattern underlay for added support and structure. There are definitely worse synthetics out there, but the upper on this particular colorway didn't really conform around my foot the way I would like it to. But from what I've heard, the black away version of the Rose 6 that uses a synthetic leather upper does not have this issue. But besides the fit issue, this synthetic mesh upper was everything you wanted it to be. It was comfortable, durable, and pretty pliable. But who knows, maybe there'll be a colorway that we'll release in the future that performs way better than this because of the new material. I guess we're just gonna have to buy every single colorway until we figure out which one works the best. Awesome. Every now and then a sneaker comes along where it makes you ask the question, when was the last time I got my foot size? That's because when you buy a shoe in the same size you always buy them in, and you actually try them on when you get home, they're either too big or too small. In my case with the Rose 6, too big. Again, like I said in the material section, it all depends what colorway you get. The one that I wear tested is this synthetic mesh upper and it just had way too much dead space in the forefoot and toe area. While the fit in the front of the row 6 was sloppy, the ankle area was a little bit better. It uses an abundant amount of padding to prevent heel slippage, but at the same time kind of feels like it was built around a brace. So if you don't use an external brace, this area might feel a little bit loose. But this is very minor when compared to the sloppy fit in the foot. But again, it all depends what colorway you get. This is by far the most supportive signature model in the Rose line. The hefty heel cage in the back really gives you that lateral support so your foot stays on the footbed and gets the most out of that legendary boost foam cushion setup. Also, the bungee-like strap system attached to the heel cage allows for a dynamic fit in the ankle area. In fact, like I said in the fit section, the Row 6 kind of feels like it was built to accommodate an ankle brace. And if you don't use one, 
you might find this area a little bit spacious or loose. But if you wear an ankle brace, all these minor issues are non-existent. Then you have the stable frame carrier coupled with the X bar for torsional support that makes the Rose 6 one of the most supportive models in the signature line that can accommodate everyone at every position. With that being said, the support on the Rose 6 is damn near perfect. But with different materials giving you different experiences with the fit, that may change your experience with the overall support. All right guys, look, I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. The Rose 6 has one of the most legendary and best cushion setups of all time, and it is definitely worth the $140 price of admission alone. And with other positive features such as the support and traction, this makes the Rose 6 one of the most versatile and well-rounded sneakers on the market today. However, with the fluctuating performance based on what material and colorway you get, your experience with the Mode 6 might not be as good as it could be. So my advice is go in store, try on the different colorways, make sure you get the right fit, and if you do that, it's gonna be very hard, in fact, almost impossible to keep the Rose 6 off your feet both on and off the hardwood. All right, you guys, that pretty much takes care of the performance review for the Rose 6. If I left anything out or you still have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And hey, don't forget to tell me what your experience was like with the Rose 6. All right, guys, my name is Jaron. That was my performance review. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, it's Jaron. I just wanted to let you know you could check out my full written performance review of the Rose 6 over at weartesters.com. There are a lot of cool graphics that I designed myself. I worked really hard on it and it would mean a lot to me if you went to go check it out. You can click anywhere on the screen here or the link in the description box. Thanks guys. Keep balling. Have a great day. See you in the next one. Peace.